Now that I've traveled to Purgatory and back, I can finally see what's going on with Gwen. I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner Girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. with you, right? Listen, I'm here to help you. <laughs> I adore you, but read the room, bud. That's Sophie, all right. Hang on, Gwen. It's almost over. Stay here and take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Sophie's out there, somewhere close. I can feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? Why do I always gotta fall for the weird ones? Always forget you're so huggy. Did I do it? Are you you again? As much as I ever was. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey, I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. Who needs all the king's horses and all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> you know, I was pretty cool. I accept fun and gratitude. <laughs> Consider yourself fond. Oof. So... Any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I've erased timelines before, but this time I think I assimilated them. I'm sorry. Oh, you just assimilated the timelines. <laughs> yeah. At least... That's what it feels like. Time travel? Alternate universes? 
scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends? What else can you do? I don't know. Get a lot of nosebleeds? <laughs> Migraines, too. This power involves a lot of ibuprofen. What? You just seem... Extremely chill? Considering we're still stuck in a supernatural time storm. It's the little things in life. Frappuccinos, movie marathons, chilling with your bestie in the void. Here's the thing. I'm glad you were here too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. They'll forgive you. Will they forgive me? Maybe I don't forgive them. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom... will never be different. I think the best thing would be... clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After the wallet girl died, what did you do? I ran away. You're not like me, Sophie. You're way stronger than I ever was. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of wash-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do? Gods can do that stuff. Or... Monsters. You can say whatever you want about the choices you made. But you aren't a monster. You're my friend. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Sophie, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your magic Max bullshit? I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? It's a little weird. But... That's some weirdness between friends. We should though, right? That's how we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. 
we don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> See you on the other side. Sophia. Oh my god. Yes, mean. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you Sophie, help me. Clean break. Remember? Maxine. Don't let her go. It's okay. Sophie. <laughs> you do have a place here. People need you. I need you, Sophie. Hmm. Sophie? I don't know her. I can be anyone, Max. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Sophie, stop it! It's... It's real? I, I wasn't hallucinating? What are you? And what did you do with my daughter? You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you could make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? If you think that's how it works, you don't know anything. There's always a price, Sophie. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Safi. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have... My, my life. Everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one. Knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <laughs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now... It works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or was everything you said in the storm just words? Are you sure you need to leave? There's nothing for me here. I mean, besides you, but you'll wait, right? <laughs> Thank you.
Be safe, Safi. No more lies. No more hiding. They're all waiting for me at the Snapping Turtle. You two make it look so easy. I bet you never had to explain your bizarro superpowers to someone you made out with. Maya's tree, where it belongs, and as big as in the bowling alley. Up, Alexa. Not gonna lie, I was afraid your face might have gotten replaced with Safi's. I know, I was so... Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. Real fucking funny. I just had some kind of psychological breakdown and you're laughing. I don't really know how to explain what happened. But... You should think of it as a second chance. My life's fucking trash now. No thanks to you and Sophie. You're toxic, Max. I can't surround myself with that kind of energy. Maybe I'll write my own book about this whole mess. My side of the story. Uh, well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Go fuck yourself, Max. Yasmin, I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Maxine. How's your shoulder? The bullet missed any major veins. But it will be months of physical therapy before I can use my arm. Yasmin, what you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not 
not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Sofia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... I've stepped down from my position as president. What? It was my choice. You and Sofia have helped me see the damage I have done. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Excuse me, I, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Here goes nothing. Well? Not a peep. Guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? But it's not me. It's Safi. Does anyone ever know what she'll do next? Does she? Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. I want to check on how everyone's doing first. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity is gone. Huh. I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets, or do I finally get to know you now? Would you really have believed me, though? If I had told you? It is pretty insane. <laughs> you know, I remember rejecting you. And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. But kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. I don't know if I can answer that right now. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And I like you. I 
I think I need time. To sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. Max! Sorry, I just... You're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey... Me okay? What do you think it all means? Why you? Or Safi? I'm still trying to understand. I didn't know anyone else had powers until I met... Safi. That must have been... A revelation. You have no idea. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? You already handle that every day. Anything could happen at any moment. You could be hit by a car. Struck by lightning. Is this your pep talk? You're the one who's been texting me for days. Well, you're the only person who was there. Who else am I gonna text? Hey, Max. Our Lady of the Storm. <laughs> wow, let's not do that. How are you guys holding up? Oh, my whole world has been rocked. You rocked my world. <laughs> I remember a bunch of things happening that I plan to repress until I have a spectacular nervous breakdown at age 40. At least you're in this together. Yeah. I, I don't know what I would have done if I was there by myself. <laughs> For now, I just want to get through this election. Oh, right. The Abraxas election. So you're not stepping down? I'd ask how you know that. But at this point, Caulfield, if you grew another head, I wouldn't even blink. <laughs> I'll get right on that. I think that's everyone. Okay, Moses. Let's give... That storm seemed kind of evil, all I'm saying. Yeah. It was dangerous. Hey, Diamond. I'd like to get a photo for the end of the year. Mind if I... Okay. I was hoping she'd be a little more enthused, but... Do you blame Safi for what happened? I just want to know she's okay. What do you say to a picture? For old time's sake? Moses has hypothermia. And now, crippling anxiety. I can never have enough shots of Moses. Everything's changing so fast. I'm not sure what I'll do when you grab- Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? Come on, it's fascinating.
What if Safi really does come back? She did some terrible things, Max. And you basically gave her your seal of approval. I'm not giving up on Safi. You shouldn't either. Jeez, Max, nobody's writing her off. But I hate being scared of my best friend. Hey, we're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. Do you think you'll ever go back to Arcadia Bay? Yeah. One day. I think it's time I explained a few things. It won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. It's the truth. What's coming next is going to be difficult. For all of us. But we're going to get through it together. I promise. This time... I'm not going anywhere. We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice. <laughs> 